Hi, my name is Brian Molina. I am a former Apple Store employee. Hi, my name is David. I am a former Apple employee. Hi, my name is Glory. I am a current Apple Store employee. And today we're going to be answering your questions. What is it like at the store on the day that a new iPhone is released? Well, this past September was my first launch and it was insane. There's lines outside all day. The store is always busy, but somehow there's even more people inside the store. It's just basically organized chaos. My first year, it was packed and it was pretty crazy. There's a lot of hype going into it. And since this launch was three iPhones and the watch, it was a whole lot going on in the store. But yeah, the, the hype lasts for about two weeks of craziness. Do people still wait outside overnight to get the new iPhone? Yes, people should do that. Which sometimes confuses me. So you like drive into park into work and you just see this line of people like in their little chairs and tents. It's not that serious. Just go online and buy it. For the iPhone, I've seen them there a day or two before, but also for the iPad, iPods, they would come just a few hours before we would open the stores and just kind of wait there. What was the worst or most annoying problem to deal with? We would have this setup area where after you purchase, you would go there and they would help you set up the phones, help you set up the computers. And sometimes, even myself, I used to be there for four, five, six hours with one customer. Especially if someone doesn't know like the pin number to an account or they don't know like the password. It's always like password related things. Just people know your passwords, write them down. For me personally, it's when people come in to the Apple store and ask questions about their Gmail accounts. Those really get to me. Cause it's like, I don't work for Google. Don't really know how to help you with the situation. So that's probably the most annoying problem to deal with. Can you get banned from the Apple store? Um, not really. If there were like trouble customers, then we would always keep an eye out for them and we would know if in the future they came in to kind of just keep an eye out for them. There's not like pictures of people on the walls somewhere that says this person cannot be in here. It was more so just get out, stuff like that, but not to the degree where you're actually banned. Can you get kicked out for staying and using the product for too long? No, you definitely can't. You can sit inside the store and use the computers or iPads or phones from open to close as long as you aren't bothering anyone. Although when it gets really busy, then yes, because people are trying to like test everything out and you only have so many like IMAX or whatever. But it's usually like four hours or so is the longest that I've seen. Or sometimes we had this one guy that would come in, basically do his work at our job. People knew him when he would come in. Oh, he just works like he comes and works in here. So I'm like, okay, that's, that's cool. If you're good with that, I'm good with that. How easy is it for an employee to tell if a customer's product is fake? Hmm, depending on where they got it from, it can be pretty hard to tell. I think the, the most popular thing to try and fake was like a screen, like a third party screen. When the geniuses are messing with the phone, they can tell the screws are different. Sometimes the home, when there was a home button, the home button will be a little loose and toggly, and then you'd be able to tell that things were moved and shifted. I could never really tell, but there was one day where someone replaced one of like the display iPhones with a cookie, and that I could tell that I was fake for sure. But the icing was very clean. It was very well done. Does every employee at the Apple store own an iPhone? No, not everybody has an iPhone. And that's fine, like we don't shame, I mean there's people who shame them. Some people don't like the iPhone, some people don't know how to work it, but you know, to each its own. Has anyone ever attempted to steal one of the products on display? Yes, absolutely. It's too many times. You see people who like put the beats on, and they just like kind of walk out. You see people who just grab accessories. People love to like take off their case and then like replace it with one of the sample cases. I've seen people come in and they go to certain tables and they just yank phones off the table and then run out. This happens like once a week. There's been instances where people will get caught, but a lot of people are very successful with getting away with it. And we're just told not to do anything. Cause we're all just like trained to be like, doesn't matter as soon as that phone leaves the store. Cause they're all demo devices. They can't do anything with them. Is it illegal to jailbreak your iPhone? I don't know if it's illegal, but I'm sure it's like frowned upon. Like you're not supposed to do that. Because if you try to bring it in to trade it, or get a new one, they're not gonna take it, I'm not gonna give you anything. And then if you go to the Genius Bar to get your phone fixed, they're not gonna fix it. 
because it's basically not an Apple product anymore. So I'm gonna go with yes, it's illegal because they're just tampering with all the internal stuff that goes on with the phone anyway. Easy answer is I think yes, it is illegal. And are the geniuses actually smart? Yeah, they're, they, they really are. Honestly, they're geniuses. And they do go through a lot of training to do the things that they do. They know a lot of the techie side of things. And sometimes when I didn't know an answer, I would walk to the back and I would ask them and they would just like that. They're like in a second. They knew exactly what they were talking about. Luckily, I think there's a pretty good culture at Apple that we're all in it together no matter what our positions are. And there's no like competition. Everyone's really nice. No one seems like snobby or like mean because they know more than I do. Everyone's pretty helpful and nice. So I hope that answers some of you guys' questions and we do want to help and we will help. Otherwise, Google it and you'll find out there. <laughs>